John Green, The Legend Among Us, from the book Know the Sasquatch Bigfoot, 2009, Hancock House Publishers, by Christopher L. Murphy. Without doubt, John Green is the preeminent authority on the Sasquatch issue. Although no longer very active in field research, he spent many years investigating Sasquatch sightings and footprint reports. He has hunted for evidence in many remote areas throughout the Pacific Northwest and has traveled to eastern Canada and throughout the United States, methodically documenting and photographing evidence of the creature's existence. He has personally interviewed hundreds of people, including many of the early Sasquatch witnesses, Albert Osman, Fred Beck, Roger Patterson, and Bob Gimlin, to name a few. John has authored several books on the subject, the most noteworthy being Sasquatch the Apes Among Us, 1981, Hancock House Publishers. In the Sasquatch fraternity, as it were, John is the clearinghouse for all matters. His vast knowledge in the field has no equal. John became involved in investigating the Sasquatch in 1957, while he was owner and publisher of the Agassiz Harrison Advanced newspaper. The Harrison area was noted for Sasquatch sightings. John, however, took little interest in the subject until the, he learned that some people in the community he had come to respect had been witnesses to an incident sighting and footprints at nearby Ruby Creek 16 years earlier. Thereupon, John teamed up with Rene DeHinden, who had come to Harrison to hunt for the Sasquatch, and the two men embarked on serious and dedicated research. Both John and Rene were founding members of the Pacific Northwest Expedition in California in 1959. They continued to cooperate with each other for more than a decade. They eventually parted company over the issue of sharing information with other people. Rene never wavered from his determination to solve the mystery himself. John gave up on that prospect and does whatever he can to help anyone he considers to be making sincere efforts in Sasquatch research. John has documented thousands of Sasquatch-related incidents, many of which he personally investigated. He has diligently analyzed the information he has collected and has provided many statistics on the nature and distribution of the creature. He has presented his findings at numerous conferences and continues to be called upon for interviews and speaking engagements. Mainly through John's efforts, some eminent anthropologists and zoologists are now involved in the Sasquatch issue. I met John in 1993. Over the years, I have visited him a number of times and have listened intently to his views. Few things escape his notice. He is exceedingly critical and accepts absolutely nothing at face value. John is very careful when where doubt is involved with people and Sasquatch-related evidence. Indeed, John gives little or no credibility to most of the highly publicized Sasquatch encounters, videos in particular, of recent years. He is highly uncomfortable with all findings by Ivan Marks and Paul Freeman. Alright, well, cool. he's so cr yeah, we'll see how these lyrics go over. <laughs> this I had in a notebook from last, this April, and then I found it and thought I'd, you know, work it up, but, um... Back in the fall of 58, Harrison Hot Springs was hot with debate. Sasquatch, you see, was back on the scene, and it caught the attention of John Green. He heard the more it rang true With each investigation his interest grew The evidence was compelling up on Ruby Creek He knew something was out there and he was determined to see Well he came to California when he saw Jerry Crew Holding his foot cast and then he just knew That finding this creature was becoming his mission so he signed up with Tom Slick's Bigfoot Expedition. Well, he was out seeking Sasquatch, wasn't seeking no glory. But he was the one documenting the story. But who was always one of the first on the scene? Well, if Sasquatch had been there, so had John Green. <laughs> Through half the 60s, he stayed on the track. Collected reports and he sorted the facts. His database of sightings and his evidence increased. But he could never catch a glimpse of this beast. He was there when they screened the film from Bluff Creek. Drove down to the site, been there at Onion Peak. The answers to this riddle were so close yet so fleeting, like the creature itself 
but John was never a treaty. Yeah, he was out seeking Sasquatch, wasn't seeking no glory. Who was the one documenting the story? And who was one of the first on the scene? Well, if Sasquatch had been there, so had John Green. <laughs> First, what he'd learned, reputation for thoroughness and logic he earned. He wanted science to address this mystery, but much to his dismay, this was never to be. Well, to this day, he's still looking and offering advice. His passion to resolve this has become his vice. He has no regrets, he'd like only to be, to be there, to be there when we finally solve this mystery. Yeah, he was out seeking Sasquatch, wasn't seeking no glory. He was the one documenting the story. Well, who was always one of the first on the scene? Well, if Sasquatch had been there, so had John Green. So had John Green. Hey, very good. Very good.